Hello, this is Donald. I want to show you a quick video here how to set up the no website capture page. So what you want to do is first log into your account into your control panel and on the left you want to click on my personal info to start. And here you want to do one thing first which is select your primary group for the no website. And once you do that, just click save. All right, now that you've done that, you want to now click on capture pages. And you want to select the primary page you want to use. So there's two options right now, but there may be more later on. So whichever one you decide to go with, just click on um, make primary. The main difference between the two here is one of them actually has a video on the front page so this one is good if you want to kind of just filter out people ahead of time and only talk to serious people um, then the other one allows the person to um, they actually have to fill in the form before they actually view the video you'll receive more leads this way but you may get more I guess tire kickers I guess you can say this way so it's just up to you if you if you really want to build a list then this is the way to go and if you just uh, want to talk to serious people then the other way is an option to go so once you select the page I'm just gonna go with this one I probably suggest this one for a new person just because that way you have more people to even talk with and um, well if you decide to talk with them but you don't again you don't have to but you will get more signups by actually communicating with the people directly um, so I'm gonna just click this option here make primary so now that's set. Now we'll, we have to do one more thing uh, for the capture under capture pages. So we want to click that one more time and click on view landing slash thank you pages. So you want to click this tab right here. And here you have it right here. This is the actual redirect URL. So when a person fills in their name and email, it's going to be redirected to this page right here. And again, later on, it may be multiple pages here, so you would just pick the one you like, and then you want to click the tab here that says, make this my redirect. So what it did was it actually automatically put the redirect URL right here in this uh, box here. So it, what you have to do now, you still actually have to click save, but since we're here, there's a few things that we're going to do on the profile. Uh, now the phone number, this is actually your no website phone number. So you want to put your 800 link number right in this box right here. And I would be sure to put the dashes in there. That way it's easier to read when a person sees your actual capture page. And then you know your address, your information goes in there. That actually, this information goes in the bottom of your emails whenever you have an autoresponder by can spam compliant you're actually required to have your physical address so you don't have to put your home address but you can put your PO box or any other address that you want right in that box there and we're not using actually these two for the site um, but you do want to put your PayPal billing email what this will do is for your autoresponder letters it'll actually put your uh, PayPal email address in the actual message already so when a person when it says send 250 to you it will automatically put your PayPal email address in the slot where it says 250 for the uh, no website program so I'm just gonna put this email right in here and then your cell phone this is actually it doesn't really have to be your cell phone I just named it cell phone but, uh, where it says contact me directly on your landing page on your thank you page of the no website which is the page two once they fill in their form it has your number directly on that page so that so that way a person can actually contact you so if you don't want people contacting you you can just put your no website number on there if you don't want to do this business where you have your number available to people to call you so you would just put your uh, no website number there but if you do want people to call you you put your actual number there your cell phone or your home phone or whatever number best to reach you 
So I'll just put a number in there for now. Um, and where it says PayPal email URL, the way to do that is to go into PayPal and to make a buy now button. So to do that, I logged into PayPal here and I have a business account so it may be different for you and you may have to contact PayPal in order to do this. So everyone may not be able to even use this option. So uh, unless without unless they actually upgrade their PayPal account to a business account or I believe a PayPal select account that will also allow you to make um, PayPal buttons where people can pay you through a URL. So all I did was click on um, PayPal buttons. It'll there's a little video here that'll show you how to make a button. Um, so I'm just gonna skip past that and click create a button. And here's all the buttons that I've created already before. So in this case, you would just click create a new button and just give it a name here, whatever you want it to be. So I just named it uh, no Web NW training and set up instructions. And then here is just, this is optional. You don't even really have to put anything in there. If you want it to, you could put something in there, just uh, make up something like NW250. And the price is gonna be 250 for you know the no website. And if you're doing this for something else, again, you just put in your different amounts for whatever you're making a URL for. And once you have that in place, you just click create a button. And right here, if you scroll down, this is this is an option for if you're using an embed code. That's a little more technical. Uh, you use an HTML, but in this case, we're just going to use the email. So you want to click this tab right here that says email. Copy this URL. And now what you can do is go back to where it says PayPal email URL place that right in there and that's the uh, URL for the order button on your capture page so on the second page of the no website page it will actually automatically link to your PayPal order button so just like if I went to this right now it takes me right to the, the shopping cart and every time you go to it, it actually keeps adding up. So that's why you see so many things here. But um, a person going there for the first time would only see um, the one thing there. So that's why you just saw a lot of different things just pop up there. So to get rid of them, you just remove it. And then if I went back to it again, since it's empty, you're only gonna see the one thing there. That's what a new person go in there for the first time to see, which is just their the one thing that they that you have there. All right, so now that that's in place, um, everything should be in place there. And one note to make a uh, one thing to make a note of, where it says email address. If you ever change your email right here, it's also going to change your login email. So just make sure you know what your login email is because you might be submitting a ticket saying my email is not working but if you change this then that's going to change your login email so so we're pretty much done on this page here you just want to click save changes and now to test your page you want to click the link right here it'll open up your page and just fill in your information here. All right, so you just click the button there. Um, now it takes you right to the second page. Just verify that everything looks correct. You know, to listen to the call, you, you should see your recorded number here. 
Then if you scroll down further um, and you click on the click here to join now link, it's going to open in a new window and you should see the um, order button work correctly. And again, in this case, I've already been there once, so it's showing double the amount. So that works correctly. And then you scroll down, you should see your name and information right here. Make sure your direct number is right there. And then make sure here, you know, your 24 seven info line shows up. And then again, test all your buttons and everything should work correctly. And then once you see that everything is working correctly, you can begin to promote your landing page. So I'm sorry, your actual capture page. So this URL is right here to see that URL. Um, you want to click under banners and it's right here. So this is the URL that you would advertise or if you purchase a domain name, you would, you know, like at GoDaddy or Namecheap.com, you could actually forward this to your own domain name. For example, my domain name is uh, GetPaidLikeMe.com. So instead of using this URL, I have GetPaidLikeMe.com forwarded to uh, my capture page URL. So people only see GetPaidLikeMe.com instead of seeing the uh, custom splash pages net forward slash you know the username you created so that's one way just to uh, brand your own domain name so therefore you um, have full access to uh, make sure that your everyone's going to your direct URL uh, now one other thing back here you want to um, load your autoresponder message and to make sure that your autoresponder message is working uh, you want to check your email you should have received an email when you did the test and it should say no website in the subject line so as long as you receive that then your autoresponder is working correctly if for whatever reason you didn't receive it you would actually just come here and scroll down and right here you'll see the no website messages right now it's only one in there but we'll be adding more or if you want you can actually add your own uh, or you may see more back there when by the time you're watching this video so to add a new one you just click on add an auto response message that allow you that will allow you to actually add a new one but to actually you make sure this one is loaded in your account all you have to do is scroll down and click this right here load all to no website messages and a little window is going to pop up saying warning you're going to load all the messages and overwrite any that you have just click OK and now that message will be loaded or any other messages that we had there will be loaded so these messages only work with the no website page so if you're trying to use any other pages um, just make a group for that page or the default group is that actual active leads group so if you're uh, wanting to use these messages for no website you'd actually have to manually add those in there but again um, if you wanted to add another message to this group for no website you just click on add an auto response message type your subject type your message select how many days apart you want that message if you wanted to go you know two days from now and then just select the group no website so this contact group right here is what ties it to your no website capture page um, then there's some codes here that you can use if you want to put the person's name in the message but again this is actually a little bit advanced stuff so you don't really have to do all this and that will put the person's name so if their name is Tom Mary John or anything it'll actually put their name right in the message you can all also utilize this code in the subject line and then put your subject right there and then continue with your, your message
and so forth. So you would just click add message if you wanted to add that and then that would add it to the no website group. So let me show you that here. So now you should see two messages under there in this case but since that's not a real message I'm going to delete that out of there. And it has the one message here which is the uh, tie along message that comes with the program. So as you can see the it puts their name in the message automatically. It has the link for the video there and it automatically puts your name and then your number throughout the message. So you can easily again um, customize your messages by putting what's in the profile or if you wanted to just come in here and type in your information you could do that also. So either way the codes automatically put your information there or if you want to come in here and type in your information over the codes you would do that. So just for example if you just wanted to put your name and information here you could do that also and then just resize it to make it the, uh, the size you want it there then but then again this is not really required that's only if you want it to customize your message and put your information directly in there so in this case I'm just gonna click update and that is the autoresponder section just a few other things here view stats this shows you how many people have been to your site the main number that you want to look for is the unique number because that shows you different people from different computers um, I went there four times so therefore it, it showed a total of four but again the unique number is what you really want to look at and opt-ins that's because I opted into the page one time and over here view leads this allows you to see all your leads right here in the list so I can see that Donald Test did um, completed the capture page on the 12th has a score of 1 and the way the score works is the more I actually um, open the email or go to the page the score will increase so a person with a high score is someone you might want to contact right away or or follow up with somehow either through email or texting them or some type of communication because they're looking at it they're looking at your opportunity so therefore you probably want to you know uh, give them a call or contact them to uh, follow up with them now I just I received the email in my inbox so I'm actually opening that email right now on another screen so as you see watch when I refresh this page I just opened the email and the score just increased so that lets the system know that this person just opened your email and it also put a star next to their name so whenever a person reads your email or opens your email and they have HTML enabled so it doesn't always track it but it only tracks if a person has HTML enabled you'll see a star next to their name but again that that just lets you know that this person has received your email and that they're looking at your opportunity now if I actually clicked on the link it's gonna do one more thing which I will do that in another window here So I just clicked on the link in another window. Now I'm going to refresh the page one more time, and um, well, actually, for some reason it didn't do that. But normally, when they click on a link, I didn't actually click on it. I put the link in the address bar. It should uh, you should see that the person has clicked the link in the email. But um, another thing over here is the icon right here this shows you where the lead came from so if you're using multiple pages you'll be able to see what page that person came from so right here again it shows you the page that the person opted in from 
There's also different ways to flag a person. So if you want to use your own coding system, like red could mean one thing, blue could mean another thing. Um, you can actually, you know, color code these by, you know, use, utilizing the flagging system. So I'll just put red for, um, for now, just to show you how it works. I'm gonna click on Save Changes, and as you can see, it put a little uh, flag next to that person there. So you can have different color coding things for any way that you want to use, you know, follow up. There's some other things here, but those are a little more advanced, so I'll just leave that alone for now and get back to the main menu here. So those are the, the main things you want to use with the system here to get your uh, no website capture page up and going. And um, if you have any questions, just click on contact us. It should take you right to our support system right here. Just click on open a new ticket. Anytime you need to submit a ticket, make sure you're including which site you're referring to because I have several sites. So therefore, um, be more specific in that way. Uh, get everything answered for you in a timely manner. But uh, be sure to look out for new capture pages. They'll be we'll be adding more uh, here in the near future. Also, if you um, want to refer your team, uh, we do have an affiliate program built in. So just click the share button, and you'll see the uh, information on the affiliate program and a link that you can share with your team.